sunset in a glass. That's one of the best descriptors I've heard about rosé. And I'm here as Mark Goldman to tell you to drink bravely and to teach you a little bit about rosé. You might be saying to yourself, I like rosé, but more often than not you might be saying, I'm a little bit scared of it because things that are pink are not always the most respectable. Uh, what am I thinking of? Donald Trump's hairline, uh, cotton candy, uh, socialite purses, uh, heart-shaped beds in hot sheet motels. Uh-uh. Rosé. Real rosé. Dry rosé. The stuff they quaff on the Riviera. This is a little bit different. This is... Why do I love it so much? Number one. If you could smell this... You'd smell red fruits, subtle red fruits, watermelon, raspberries, cherries. It's unbelievably bewitching on a summer's eve like this, okay? Number two, this is not the sucrose serum of a white zimadel. It's not treacly sweet. It's refreshing. You have company over, and it's going to be delicious. They're going to say, you know what? Another glass, please. Yes, please. They're going to say, yes, please, and they're going to love it. But... One of the things that really kills me about rosé, and I always tell my students about this, is it varies in color. You might even say its variation entertains long before the taste ever hits your mouth. It can vary from a pale pink to almost a salmon color to a watermelon color to almost a coppery color. So it's entertaining, it's beautiful. It mirrors the great sunset that happens if you're lucky in undisclosed locations like I'm in, in Long Island, up on the roof here. It's a wonderful wine. Refreshing, entertaining. It's one of the wines that I think can help you drink bravely. I'm Mark Oldman, always here to tell you to push it.